Allah opens by saying, "Qad Allahu tujadiluka fi zawjiha. Allah has been listening, has already heard the word of the woman who comes and argues with you about her husband. So Quran didn't come down to tell this woman, fear Allah and show respect to the Prophet. Watch yourself. This is the Messenger of Allah. You know, like other places, وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ فِيكُمْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ you better know this is the messenger of Allah among you. Not this time. Allah says, Allah has been listening to the word of the one who's arguing with you about her husband. A point came where she got so frustrated with the Prophet ﷺ. She put her hands and head in the sky and she said, Ya Allah, put some words in your Prophet's mouth. <laughs> That's what she said. Put some words in your Prophet's mouth because he doesn't have an answer for me. And Allah revealed this and the Prophet started speaking. Started reciting this Qur'an. And he says, Allah has heard the speech, the complaint, the words of the one complaining to you about her husband. And she's turning to Allah, وَتَشْتَكِي إِلَى Allah, And she's taking her complaint to Allah. وَاللَّهُ يَسْمَعُ تَحَاوُرَكُمَا And Allah has been listening all along to the dialogue the two of you are having. It's not just the people standing around the Prophet ﷺ in shock. How is this woman talking this way? Even the people are listening. And Allah says, I've been listening to this dialogue. Inna Allah has sami'un basir. Certainly Allah is all hearing and the one who sees. Now, the first lesson we learn here from Allah Himself is that when someone is in trouble and when someone is in a desperate situation and they come to you asking for help, even if they're raising their voice or they're debating with you because they're in a terrible situation, you're not supposed to get upset. How dare do you speak to me this way? Show some respect. If Allah Azza even completely overlooked the fact that one of the believers is debating with Allah's Messenger. This is the same Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about whom Allah said previously, أَمْ تُرِيدُونَ أَن تَسْأَلُوا رَسُولَكُمْ كَمَا سُئِلَ مُوسَى مِنْ قَبْلُ وَمَنْ يَتَبَدَّلِ الْكُفْرَ بِالْإِيمَانِ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ سَوَاءَ السَّبِيلِ In Al-Baqarah he said, are you going to question your Messenger? Like the people before you question their Messengers? And whoever does that, how does he say? وَمَنْ يَتَبَدَّلِ الْكُفْرَ بِالْإِيمَانِ Whoever replaces their faith with not believing at all, with disbelief, has gone off the far end, meaning they're misguided, they're lost. Questioning your messenger is like being misguided. Is leaving Islam altogether. Isn't she questioning? She's questioning, she's debating. But Allah gave us an exception. When someone is in despair, when someone is hurting, and they come seeking relief, then Allah Azza wa is merciful towards them and He doesn't treat them the same way He would treat someone else who's just being arrogant and obnoxious. In other words, when we deal with people, sometimes people get upset. But before you say, how dare you get upset, the first lesson here is, first understand, is this upset because they're arrogant? Is this upset because they're just full of themselves? Or is this upset coming from pain? Are they in some kind of pain or difficulty that's making them cry out? That's making them upset. And if that's the case, you have to overlook the raising of the voice. You have to overlook the, the tone. And you have to be sympathetic to the pain and the difficulty that they're in. Allah overlooked the fact that she's debating with His own Messenger wasallam. And He says, I heard her call. I heard her complaining with you. And I've heard the entire dialogue. Anybody else standing there, sitting there would have been like, How did you talk like that? And Allah says, yes, I've heard the whole thing. I've heard all of it. And now Allah's response. He says, yudahiruna min nisa'ihim, minkum min nisa'ihim. Those of you that are going to say such a thing to their women, to their wives. If you ever say something like that, you're like my mother. First thing Allah says, ma hunna ummahatihim. They're not their moms. They are not their mothers. In ummahatuhum illallahi waladnahum. Their mothers are the ones that gave them birth. Now that's not rocket science, everybody already knows that's your mom, the one who gave you birth. And the people who said it also knew that. But the fact that Allah went out of His way to say, by the way, those of you who say such nonsense, that it makes no sense, number one. And first of all, you already have a mother, the one who gave you birth. This is Allah's way of scolding, not the woman, but the men who said something arrogant. Because they felt, I'm in a bad mood, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. And they're just going to just run their mouth. And Allah came at them and said, they're not their And then He didn't stop there. He says, وَإِنَّهُمْ لَيَقُولُونَ مُنْكَرًا مِّنَ الْقَوْلِ وَزُورًا And they are saying something vile, something disgusting, something unacceptable. 
This is an unacceptable kind of speech, and this is false testimony. Allah is offended by this because there's lots of reasons, but I'll, I'll share a couple of them with you. Allah has made certain things sacred, and one of the things that's sacred is the mother. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ Be conscious of Allah and be conscious of the womb of the mother. Motherhood is sacred. So anytime the word mother is used in a dirty way, or in a way to make an argument, or in a way for somebody to use foul language, then they have not committed a crime against someone else that they cussed out, or someone they called their mother, or etc, etc. They have committed a crime against Allah because the womb of the mother is sacred. How dare you use the word mother that way? How dare you? That's what Allah is, Allah is saying. Now, I don't have to make a list. Y'all live in America, and people that are watching on the internet know what the internet is like. Virtually in every culture in the world, shaitan is the same shaitan. The shaitan speaks Japanese, and the shaitan speaks Punjabi, and the shaitan speaks English. It's the same shaitan. The food can be different, and the cultures can be different. The devil's the same. And the devil knows that Allah made the womb sacred. This is why you find in virtually every language, one of the most abused words is mother. One of the most abused words is mother. In every culture. Why is that? The cultures are different, their filth should be different too. No, it's the same, because the devil's the same. Because shaitan is the same. And by the way, the one who doesn't have regard for the womb of the mother has no regard for Allah. Has no regard for Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal made this word motherhood. It comes from the womb, which is Rahim. And in a hadith Qudsi, he said, Sammaituka bismi. I named you the womb with my own name, Ar Rahman. So be careful when you say something like that. But Alhamdulillah, we don't say that anymore. I don't know of any crazy case where somebody had an argument with their wife and said, You're my mom from now. Nobody does that anymore. It's dead. It's been gone for 1400 years.